Hi, how you doing? Justin here. In this lesson today, we are going to be checking out the traditional Irish tune, Whiskey in the Jar. And I'm going to be teaching it to you using this pretty cool new app called Four Chords. Uh, it's not one of my apps, but uh, it's got some pretty cool features for beginner guitar players. Uh, you can kind of adjust the speed of stuff. It's got the, the chords that you're going to play and the lyrics and a kind of a clappy thing to play along with. It's, it's pretty cool if you're going to learn some easy tunes. Loads of different songs. Uh, you get a few free ones, of course, and then you've got to buy the other ones. Uh, so uh, before we actually get started playing the song, let's have a quick look at the, the Four Chords app and uh, see how it works. Okay, so this is how the app's going to look when you first open it up. It's the songbook page, so you can scroll through all of these and you'll find that there's loads and loads of different songs and collections of songs that you can choose to learn. But the one that we're going to be checking out today is this Whiskey in the Jar. So when you find that one, you're going to hit the little blue play and the song will load. Now what we're presented with is the different chord selections. Now this one's got two options, either the open chords that are shown there, or if you swipe the screen over, you've also got the, all of those same chords as power chords that you can play. So you've got a choice there between the two, but I'd recommend starting off with the open chords. Now when you start off and you hit the let's go button, it's going to give you a countdown and then it's going to start playing. Now you can of course pause at this point while I just show you some of the uh, features that it's got going on. So the first thing is up the top here, the rhythm button. So if you hit that rhythm button, you'll see that we can either choose clap sounds or clap visuals. So clap sounds, obviously the clap sound, like a metronome. You're probably going to need that if you're going to play along with it because it's pretty important to be in time with it. Uh, you've also got a visual so that the screen's going to be flashing if you want to make sure that you're playing in time. And underneath that, a very, very useful feature, which is the speed. You can see this one set to 120 beats per minute, but you can quite easily slow it down or speed it up to whatever tempo you fancy. So particularly slowing it down is going to be a good thing if you're a beginner. So you can see over here, if we click on the Melody tab, there you've got guitar sounds. Now, when you're starting out, you're almost certainly going to want to have guitar sounds on so you can hear it, what it is that you're supposed to be doing. That's a very useful thing. The vocal track is obviously playing the melody. It's not going to be singing the words, but it's going to play the melody, which is a very useful thing to be able to have there to help you kind of know where you are in the song. So I'd recommend leaving that on. Now, tap guitar is an interesting little feature. It presents the chords out the side of the uh, app there. So if you don't have your guitar with you, you can practice the, the song by touching on the different chords and it'll play the different chords there so you can hear what it's going to sound like. Okay, the other things to note just down the bottom here, first of all is our little scroll bar so you can see where you are in the song that's going to move through as you're playing through the song. Uh, play button and pause, of course, and then we've got the record feature. So once you get the record feature, it's showing my funny little camera at the moment, which is interesting, uh, but uh, it, so you can either do video, uh, record a video, or record audio only. So once you start that, the song will start, It'll start recording the song for you. When you stop, it'll save it, and you've got a choice of sharing it, and you can share it to uh, you know, Facebook, email, YouTube, or to your camera roll. Uh, we probably won't go sharing that one right now, so we're going to cancel that. Uh, but that's all of the features of Four Chords. It's a pretty comprehensive little program. So the first thing that you want to do when you're playing this tune along with me now is to select the song, which is, of course, Whiskey in the Jar. So go to the My Songbook page, which has got a big list of all of the tunes that you can play. There's quite a few for free. You can scroll down and have a look at some of the other ones you might like as well. Uh, we're going to select the Whiskey in the Jar by hitting the little green kind of play button looking thing. Uh, that'll load up the chords page. So we've got two options here for this tune. We can either use the open chords or we can use the power chords. Now we're going to be looking at the open chords today. Uh, if you want to check out power chords, there's a lesson on that on my website. So the chords that we've got going today is an E minor chord. Just using our second and third fingers on the second fret of the fifth and fourth strings. We've got a D chord. Uh, which a uh, big deal with the D chord is to remember not to play the thickest two strings. That's the really big deal with a D. We've got a G chord. Lots of different ways of fingering the G chord. It's uh, completely up to you which particular one you want to use. There are many different variations. Uh, and we've also got a C chord. If you want more details on those chords, you can either check out the Four Chords website or justinguitar.com in the beginner's course. All of those chords are explained in great detail. So I don't want to uh, spend too much time on that now for those of you who have already uh, got those chords down. So uh, once you've learned the chords and you're confident with them, 
you're going to hit the little let's go button, the little green button in the lower right hand corner, but beware, it starts straight away. So as soon as you hit that button, you're going to be playing the tune. It's going to give you a four count in and you're going to be playing the song. So make sure that you've got your pick in your hand at the ready and you're kind of ready to jump on whatever the first chord is. So you're going to hit let's go and something when you're playing a tune like this, especially you're doing it for the first time, expect it to be a little bit fumbly because you're not really going to know the chord order yet or you're going to be learning the strumming. So there's a little bit to learn, you know, and, and that's part of the journey. Just accept that on the first few goes through you're going to be like, well, where, where are we at, you know. And it's kind of fun. As you play it more and more, you'll get better and better at it and, and know where the chords are. So when we hit that little let's go button, it's going to give us a four count in. So it's just going to show on the screen. One, two, three, four. And to start off with, we're just going to be strumming at the beginning of each bar. Right? Now, the, as you're going to see, the little kind of cursor thing moves across the screen. Once, one lap of the screen, if you like, for each bar. And you'll also see it flash on the beats one, two, three, and the four. And you'll hear claps on beats one, two, three, and four as well. So you should be able to follow along with where those beats are. So to start off with, I'd just be strumming once per bar. Even sometimes the app might play two chords per bar. I'd recommend that you start off with just keeping it real simple at the beginning and making sure that you've got the, the kind of the right number of uh, strums on the right number of beats held for each chord. So let's hit let's go and let's see where we at. So let's go, two, three, first chord, that was an E minor, E minor, G, and G again. Back to E minor, just strumming, one, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. The melody starts to E minor. One, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, to C, two, two, three, then to G, two, three, four, G, two, three, to D, two, one, two, back, two, C, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Stay on the C. Back to G, two, three, four, G, two, three. And then the melody starts again. So that would be what I'd recommend that you start off with first. Just really keeping it simple and just playing a down strum at the beginning of each bar. Right? Just it'll kind of help you familiarize yourself with the chords, make sure that you've got the chord changes okay, because that's the biggest kind of problem for most beginners is making those chord changes fast enough. So if you're just strumming once on each chord, it kind of gives you a little bit of space there. Now, after you finish doing that, the next stage will be to try and play along with the strums that the four chords recommend because you're going to see the little chord appear and you'll hear the guitar being strummed as long as you've left the, the guitar chords kind of audio on. So at that point, once you're familiar with the tune, maybe play through it a couple of times, you can move the little cursor there right back to the beginning of the song, play it again through, and right at the beginning, it's still just one strum per bar. You'll be able to hear it if you listen to just the app by itself, you'll hear it. And you'll see it. So you can hear it have both. Now as the words come, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, E minor. So now we're strumming twice per bar. And to G. Staying on the G again. E minor to C to G to D C and to G and we're at the melody again
So you can see there, you can kind of use it at different kind of levels depending on where you're at. And don't forget as well that you can change the speed. So if you're struggling at that speed to get through, you can just go into the little rhythm menu, and right at the bottom there you'll see a tempo slider. So you can, if this is at 120 beats a minute now. If that's a little too fast, maybe move it down to 100 and have a go. If that's too fast, maybe down to 80. You can do it at whatever speed you like, because the important thing is actually being able to do it. And once you can do it, then you can start speeding it up to the regular tempos. It's a really good feature here. Of course, because it's got the lyrics, it's a good kind of fun party play-along thing as well. But uh, there's another feature on this that's pretty excellent that I think you might want to have a bit of a play with, which is the record function. Now, by hitting the record button in the lower uh, left-hand corner, it'll bring up the option for you to actually record your guitar into the app. Now, before you do that, I kind of recommend that you turn the guitar off in the rhythm department, right? Otherwise, you're going to hear their guitar and your guitar. So, you got to, it'll kind of make it a little trickier to play because you won't have that to a reference. You're going to have to really concentrate on hearing those clicks. But when you do that, it'll give you the option. You can share it or email it to yourself, and it can be a really useful skill to be able to hear back what you've just played because you'll kind of hear how your rhythm is, if you're sitting on the groove right, if you're doing the right number of strums. And so recording yourself is a really, really good feature, and, and it can be quite a fun thing to do as well. So that's something that you definitely want to check out. Um, once you turn the guitar off, and you've just got you're down to the claps. Remember as well that you can experiment with the different rhythm patterns. So you don't always have to just stick to. I was just doing the down strums originally, and then strumming on beats one and three. But you, it'd be very easy to have something like one up, up two up, one and two and three and four and down up, up down up, up down up, up down up. Be one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and big deal. Remembering to keep that hand moving. If you need more strumming lessons, then go and check out my website. There's plenty of stuff on strumming on that. So you really want to be keeping that hand moving on that particular pattern, and then you could have another go at playing along with it. So you'd be you go to rhythm, turn the uh, sorry, you go to melody, and turn the guitar sound off. I'd leave the vocal track on because it'll help you keep kind of track of where you are in the tune. And then when you go back through and play it again, now it's going to give you the the clap. And you'll see the count on the screen and stuff, but you're going to have to play the guitar part. And as soon as you're doing that, it's a little easier to start putting on these other extra, uh, you know, strumming patterns. So I'll just move that cursor back here. Three, four. As you can see there, you can be putting in different variations as well. It doesn't even have to be exactly the same pattern all the time. It's a really, you know, it's a pretty nifty little feature, and that's where it gets really fun recording yourself. You can hear back what the different strumming patterns sound like. So uh, definitely recommend it. Uh, Go and check it out. It's on the App Store. I'll put a link in the video description down below. So uh, let me know how you get on with it, and I'll see you for more guitar lessons very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.